PlayStation 5 is getting a much needed firmware update. Sony's got a ridiculous photography phone and there's a new Surface coming. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MBO Tech Bytes and I am super excited for today's episode because there has been some really cool announcements over the last 24 hours and I'm gonna take you through them right about now. So on our first story of the day, April's PS5 firmware update is available to download and it brings with it a feature that PS5 fans have been waiting for for quite some time and that is the ability to hook up external storage and store more games on your system. So basically the way this works is that you can hook up external storage to your PS5, copy games over to it, and then when you want to play the games, copy them back. Now it's not as ideal as being able to run the games directly from the external storage, but it's better than having to re-download the games, especially with many ISPs introducing data caps lately. The update is available for download now, so if you have a PS5, make sure to download the latest firmware update and get ready, because you will no longer have to deal with running out of space on your console, assuming you have some USB storage you can use. And while we're on the topic of Sony, Sony's got some really, really ridiculous new phones that are specifically targeted at photographers. Now these are not your budget-friendly entry-level phones. These are the new Xperia models and these things come packed with almost everything you could ever imagine. So Sony makes some of the best cameras on the market and they're taking that technology and applying it in their phones in the Sony Xperia 1 III and the Sony Xperia 5 III. Now these come with some different features that will make any photographer extremely happy, but it's gonna be packed into a smartphone. Now, unfortunately, Sony didn't announce the exact release date or price for the phones. They only announced that, hey, the phones exist and here's some of the cool photography features that they bring to the table. So we will have to wait and see how much these phones are, but I can assure you they will not be cheap. Sony actually says that it has developed the world's first smartphone with a variable telephoto lens paired with a dual PD sensor. That combination allows it to get down to 105 millimeter focus length, which is ridiculous for a smartphone camera. Sony did announce specs for the phone and they announced the latest Snapdragon processor, so you don't have to worry about having any slow chips in there. There is a Snapdragon 888. The Sony Xperia 1 III will come with 12 gigs of RAM, while the Sony Xperia 5 III will come with eight gigs of RAM, so you can start to see where the one kind of separates separates itself from the 5. It is a slightly higher end model, so it makes sense that it's gonna come with a little bit more memory. Both phones come with 120 hertz 4K OLED screens, which is really, really good. I mean, that's about the best you're gonna get on a smartphone nowadays. All this sounds impressive on paper, but Sony has been struggling in the smartphone space of late. It sounds like Sony's really pushing the limit with these new phones, especially with the camera technology, but we have to actually see some photos taken with them and really get our hands on them in order to get a feel for how good these phones are. So only time will tell. We will just have to wait and see, but I'm very excited for these phones. They look great on paper. They sound like they're doing everything right. Let's just wait and see what happens when they come out, hopefully by the summer. So in our final story of the day, Microsoft has announced a new Surface laptop, this time called the Surface Laptop 4, and it comes with both Intel and AMD options. Microsoft is promising a whopping 70% improvement in performance over the Surface Laptop 3. That is a no joke step up in terms of performance. As far as ports and everything goes, Microsoft is sticking with the same design as a Surface Laptop 3. So just to give you a quick example of the specs Microsoft is offering here, the base 13.5 inch laptop will feature a 6 core Ryzen 5 4680 U CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. There's a more powerful version with an Intel Core i5 1135G7 and a Core i7 1185G7 CPU with up to 32 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte SSD. So you can kind of see where Microsoft is going in terms of the different power levels with the laptops. There's going to be a range obviously and there's going to be a range of prices. It's available in 13.5 and 15 inch models so you can get two different screens sizes depending on your needs. Now as these are laptops designed for work we should note that none of them come with internal GPUs. They're using the onboard processing graphics so you're not going to be using these as gaming laptops but that's okay because that's not what they're designed for. They're designed to be thin and light and portable and still powerful. So these are set to start shipping on April 15th with the base model going for $999 and jumping up from there depending on the specs you choose. Looks like a heck of a laptop so if you're in the market for a new one Surface Laptop 4 might be one to consider. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this episode of MUO Tech Bytes is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative, and I hope you found my beautiful face entertaining. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.